Hello everyone, this is Bahamut2k456 aka Baha bringing you a video on a review of the Alloy Storage Tower for PS3. This is the first time I've really tried to bother with the whole camera thing, usually I'm just a gameplay kind of guy, but my friend wanted me to do a review, so here it is. Um, if this is well received, another thing I would like to do in the future is sitting right here, it's the Komodo VGA box for the Sega Dreamcast. Uh, in a nutshell, it's very good. I'd recommend you buy it, and I just have this out for future reference. If you guys want to see more, you can let me know in the comments. But today, this is our focus, the Alloy Storage Tower for the PS3. It also comes in a 360 and Wii model, so I believe it originally retailed for 150 bucks. but today I went out to the store and picked it up for around 38 Um, since I just got home with this, it's not opened, I wanted to unbox it for you guys. Um, uh, one second. Had to open my knife. Uh, so, yeah. I apologize for any bad lighting, but there's not too much I can do about that. I don't have the best of cameras, but it does 1080p, so it should suit this purpose just fine. Ah, uh, other than that, I guess all that I really have to say is I hope you guys enjoy this little video. And I honestly don't have any idea what the quality of this will be. I did not see one in the store, I just know that I need some sort of stand for my freaking PS3, because I'm running out of storage space, as one might expect from all the games I have. So if you want to see more in the future, give me a like, give me a comment, do whatever, just let me know. Because if I don't think anyone else is going to want to watch these videos, then I don't really see a point to making them, you know? Obviously I take requests, and this thing is pissing me off. So I will be back once I have the top open. Alright guys, that took all of five seconds. It turns out they had this clear little tape right here sitting right on this flap. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit more of a view of the box real quick. That way you guys can see what it looks like. I got it from JCPenney's. Um, this is just, you know, the general text saying, Oh, it holds your PS3. Congratulations. It's got actually a fairly nice presentation. But it only holds up to four games, or 16 games, four controllers, two guitars, and a system. It can be either the fat or the slim, it works with both. It's a Sony official licensed product, which is generally a good thing. Unless that's not true, in which case, generally it's not a good thing. And this is the side of it. it just says, level up alloy storage tower. And now I will open the thing. There we go. Oh boy, that's not a good sign. Oh, okay. I missed the PlayStation 3 right there. I thought it just said for PlayStation 2. So yeah, that's just a nice little diagram and it looks like an assembly book. Oh, lovely. This is going to be good times for all. I'm probably going to turn the camera off while I'm trying to put this crazy thing together. Um, it all looks to be fairly cheap plastic, but I guess time will tell once I have it all together. Ah. Uh, yeah, let's get that out of there. It feels really lightweight, honestly. I'm expecting this to be a cheap piece of crap, unfortunately. Not the highest expectations. But you never know, I suppose. I do need a storage tower, and as long as it stands, all should be well. I apologize for the extreme close-up of the text. I need to turn this thing over so I can get the crazy stuff out of there. Aha! There it is. I'll just set that box off to the side. So, yep, it comes disassembled in many different plastic pieces. Oh, it looks like the same kind of plastic that they made the PS3 out of. Well, the slim version, at least. I am actually not entirely fond of that. The My PlayStation 3 is insanely scratched up. Like, this kind of shiny plastic right here gets scratches so easily. Okay, I will assemble that, and then I will be right back. Hello again everyone, I am back, I hope you enjoyed the
that little segment on telling you how to put it together even if you thought it was completely useless. I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news being this turned out a lot better than I expected it to be. There are no screws on it unless you put in the guitar hooks, which I will show you in a moment. There's two screw, screw holes here and two screw holes here. It will hold up to four controllers, it will hold up to 16 games, and right here, this is the bad part, it's maximum capacity for the actual shelf itself is, like right here, is four pounds. The maximum load for the console is 13.2 pounds. The, basically the controllers only take two pounds, and the guitar hooks only take three pounds. So I'm going to put the finishing touch on it, which essentially is just taking this little piece right here and popping it in right there. But before I do so, you may notice right there, this right here is an indent for the PS3 Fat. It will not work with the PS3 Slim. So they give you this handy dandy little adapter, and all you do is you put that into that indent, and it, you know, you can put your PS3 Slim in there. However, that is not all. If we move over here, which is where the styrofoam piece is, that I carelessly tossed aside earlier like an idiot, they give us several extras. For example, this right here. It You probably can't see it very well. It says PlayStation in there. And all you do is you take that and you put that right on top of the PS3 Slim, Slim spot. And it will fit right in there. And now you can put your PS2 Slim right there instead of a PS3. Or, if you're old-fashioned, they also have this outlay. Overlay, I should say. Or whatever the hell it is called. You set it down, and now you can put a fat PS3 standing, or fat PS2 standing straight up right there. So this will pretty much cover all models of PlayStation except for the two originals, or three originals. I can't remember. I think there was only two. There's the fat, and then there was the tiny one. Okay. Other than that, it also comes with these right here. And what these are are essentially, uh, well, guitar hooks. You screw them in with these four little screws right here and they will attach right to the side where I showed you and you just hang a guitar off of them. Convenient storage for your Guitar Hero or Rock Band. Yeah, who plays Guitar Hero anymore, right? Rock Band is where it's at apparently. So yeah, it just hangs right off the side right here, right where those holes are. i probably not looking at them, right there. And honestly, I thought this was going to be a piece of crap because it's just all of this snap together blech kind of thing. But in all honesty, it looks really nice. It is stable, relatively. It doesn't wobble. Well, it wobbles, but I mean, when you put weight on it, the thing doesn't wiggle. It's just unsteady on the ground because it's flat. Um, so if you tip it over, it is going to go right down. It doesn't have that great of a balance. It's not going to tip over of its own accord, of course. Um, it's got PlayStation logos all over it. It's nice and shiny. Uh, it's got the on the right side, it's got these PlayStation, the PlayStation logo running right along it. It looks really nice. I have to say, I am fairly impressed with it for what I thought was going to be a piece of junk. Um, is it worth $150? Hell no. I would never pay $150 for a plastic stand like this, even if it is Sony branded or Nintendo branded or Microsoft branded or whatever the hell it is. Do not pay $150 for it. Is it worth, say, $30? Well, yeah, I would say so. I like it. It looks really nice. It houses every type of uh, PlayStation from the PlayStation upwards, well, the fat version, and I like it. It looks really nice. And I did have some games in it earlier. Again, it can hold up to 16, and it can hold four controllers, and honestly, if you, if you manage it right, if you have a PS2 Slim, you can put your PS3 fat right on this. And even if you have two PS2 Slims, you can put one off to this side and one off to this side. Or if you really wanted to, if you have a PS2 Fat, you can put your PS3 Slim right there, or your PS2, PS3 Fat right there, whichever you have, and go ahead and put the Fat PS2 right on this shelf right here. So I hope you enjoyed this little review. Sorry if I'm talking fast. I have a two gigabyte SD card and I am recording at 720p video. Um, it doesn't have much space. I think I have one minute left. I am not going to bother to use that up and bore you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little miniature review slash unboxing type deal. If you happen to see one of these, again, that would be an alloy, or I'm sorry. I have to turn it. Where is it? That would be a level up alloy storage tower. It has, my, it has the 360. Well, it used to. I don't know if it does anymore. It has the Wii and it has the PS3. I hope you enjoyed this review and enjoy your day.